All right. Um, if it's Twitch, if it's OBS, if it's my router, if it's my ISP, just I have no idea. No idea. But it's pretty consistent now. And this uh, this kind of confirms that. Of seven hours and thirty minutes is is our weird timing for when that happens. So at least now I can tell you that, hey, <laughs> at about the 7 hours and 30 minutes mark is usually when this happens. Hey, Spat. Good morning. You missed the end of XCOM. We beat XCOM. So we're finally, finally done. With that, the fight against the Ala Maus is over. Alright, good night, Zabble. <laughs> this is, um... This is another scene after she finished talking with Dude Bro. She's just out walking around in town as in spirit form. Yep, we we beat XCOM under twenty hours, I think. I think it was nineteen hours and something something. Something, something. Uh oh. Getting betrayed by creepy glasses guy. Shocking that Lazard is betraying more people. Copy protected content, what? That's a new one. Huh. Alright. Good that we saw that there for a second. Welcome back, Cyrus. That sprite, though. So I guess occasionally my Frame Meister turns on HDCP mode or something. If it just completely shits itself. Would you care to journey with us? <laughs> Me with you? Yes. Also, if you should join us, it may be possible for you to research Bifrost and Yggdrasil. Bifrost. Hmm. Fine. I'll come with you. Isn't it Bifrost? I mean, it's not as if I really have any other choice, do I? Indeed. Indeed. Great. And you don't have to tempt me with stupid promises either. You can research Bifrost. Besides, it might be fun to haunt that little freak. It carved up? No, he, he blew her up with magic or something. I don't know. Magic. Alright, so what's, uh, what's What's-Her-Face got in terms of skills here? Fifteen, caster... Voluptuous. Alright, in CP. St stats here are kind of crap. Um, so what do we need in terms of... So we value 90, Nimble can swim. Alright, so definitely not her. 
We might use her for combat, but I don't think we're going to actually send her off. Um, so our swimmer is her. She is the, the literal mermaid. Um, I guess you could do that, Ben? I don't know. Um, okay, so... We're gonna put her into the party and give her the level up stuff. Um, it's the Zoe is the one I want. Not the Zoe, the uh, something necklace. Hopefully I still have the necklace. Wait, did I send off the dude that had the fucking necklace? Did I really do this again? Did I seriously do this again? Okay. Oh. Close call, guys. Close call. Alright. Emerald necklace. Uh, yeah, we did point black RPG. That was a while ago. Protect the wear from drowning. Alright. So we'll probably swim now. Um, actually, if you want to see the point blank RPG, I've done a speed run of it. Let me turn this down. I've, um, I've done the speed run of point blank RPG. If you actually want to just see how that goes, um, it's about an hour and 14 minutes, as opposed to the five hours that, um, that I spent on it before uh, in Peace Explosion. So if you just want to see that, I would recommend doing that. Mm. Alright, so this is much easier than just doing all that dungeon bullshit. Job done. Oh damn, Heinke, did you get the the record? If so, congratulations! Holy crap! You bopped the um, bopped what's his face. Well done. Uh, all right. Nimble can swim, march, attack power. Oh, Joe Marie got it, okay. Well, convey my congratulations. Alright, attack power, resist damage, defend. Uh... Alright, so we're, we're gonna send off her, but we also need to send off somebody who can actually do stuff. Uh, we also have to level her up. Um, sub 39. Yeah, that run, huh? So we're good to send her off to, um, off to go fight, fight the good fight. Alright, so she is maxed out hero, hero thing. That seems like a good thing to have. Alright, so we still need somebody who can, who can fight. I'm pretty sure 
Alright. First things first, I need to take that take this stuff off of her. Um and give her the don't drown thing. Whatever that was. Uh this one? That one. Okay. Alright, so take her out of the party and put in a good fighter would probably be her. Because for whatever reason he can't go to Valhalla. Alright, so we're going to buff her stats now. set. I'll be good with her. Okay. Eight men. Okay. Defend, resist damage, attack power. Um. Four. Uh. March. Yep, so she needs March. And swim, nimble. Probably avoid, if I had to guess. Um, we need attack power, resist damage, defend. And those are the other ones. Um, probably fight. Lots of fight. Uh, resist damage. So that'll be fine, I guess. Okay. And then, um, ninja traits here. Just by four, just by seven. So we need to get her up to, um, 90. So she's ready to go off to fight the good fight. Let's give her some of these, a little bit of this. Auto item is apparently broken. Flash is useless, apparently. Sure. Um, doing this gives you a whole bunch of points. So that's good. Set up all this. Okay. She's good to go now. Yeah, we'll send those two off later. So, these two. And yeah, somebody asked about portraits earlier. Um, there you go. You get big old portraits. But I don't think you can, like, go through and... Um, and like see all their dialogue portraits unless there's some sort of weird weird thing Dr. Gameshark gave us um, infinite material points which is like money um, infinite XP and the XP orb and um, if I hit L2 in a battle we'll get our health back which we're gonna need man we're gonna need it uh, Tashel, Janus so this is the, the mermaid Yep, gonna unequip. Christina. Okay, so now we're all done with all that. Um, we were kind of getting wrecked earlier in fights, so let's get our party up to the level they should be. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna bother with the DME thing.
All right, I think 17 is about where we should be at this point in the game. Yay. And then get Jolanda up here. And then um, we should probably be using uh, using this guy, even though he has like no health. I think actually using an archer might make things less horrible in terms of battles. Okay, so he's 17 now. Let's actually equip him. Equip everybody. Uh, get better armor. Maxing out is going to take forever if I do that. Um, we should at least get... Some nice expensive armor. Okay. This Yeah, the Shasta bill is already already very high here. So we're good to go now. Let's save. Uh, let's see what we miss. Okay. Little Llewellyn. Why does Llewellyn get like a sweet weapon or something? Finally, get one that doesn't involve dude, bro. All right, Garabellum. Guaranteed to pierce guards. That sounds pretty neat. Will I Game Shark for PS2 hot for TV? Absolutely, because I have a I have multiple Game Sharks for PS2. Oh, Lucian. Apparently, you were supposed to have gotten this character in Chapter 1, I think? Maybe? I recall reading something the somewhere. About me now. What's wrong with me lately? What's wrong with you? Apparent- Whoa. Apparently, Lucian is an important character. Oh, chapter five? Okay. Gotcha. There's something I read about, like, getting the best ending has something to do with Lucian and some, some dumb thing about something. I don't know. I've since abandoned trying to get the best ending, because I'll leave that up to Valkyriaologists. Valkyriologists.
away. Yep, sounds like plot. Hey, buddy. Good morning. That face, clear face. Oh man. What's new with me? We finally beat um, XCOM. The struggle is finally over. We got our asses to Mars. We shot a rocket at a floating brain eye thing. And then shot it into four pieces. And the game apparently bugged out. But we still got the final cutscene. Which was very underwhelming. So we're finally finishing up games that we started over a month ago in XCOM and Valkyrie Profile. Because I think... I think we also started Valkyrie Profile a while ago. How's my cat? They're doing good. Yeah, meanwhile, there's drama going on here. Who are you? Plot drama. I am the one who chooses souls. You're a Valkyrie? But you look just like... Do you not wish to come with me? You have earned the right to join the Einherr Yar. But what about Claire? I can't just abandon her. If that is how you feel. Uh, the cats aren't ruining the equipment because I don't let them in here. I let him sit on the bed, not on my desk. Yeah, I think this is the guy from the prologue. Uh, XCOM was um, above average. I liked XCOM. I gave it a 4 out of 5. It had a few technical problems and it just dragged on, but I recognize it is an excellent game. Alright, we've seen as level 12. Sure. Oh, he's nimble. 
All right. Sure. And he's level... Huh. But since he's a required plot character, I'm assuming the game will just straight up not let me send him off to Valhalla. Send him up to get the good ending? Because it looks like they, they let you send him up. Alright. Uh, let's level him up then a little bit. As we can. We'll just, we'll leave him in the party now. We're kicking out other dude. We'll roll with Lucian for a while. Oh, he's, he's better than anyone else? Okay. Alright, well we'll send him then. At the end of the chapter, I guess. Okay. Um... Flying around the world map is one of the best parts of this game. Even though you don't, like, do much exploring on the world map, this is still one of the coolest parts of Valkyrie Profile. Just... Helogasm. <laughs> Helogasm is the most appropriate emote to use with the giant arms. Uh... Okay, so before I forget, I might as well put those traits on, on Dude Bro here. Okay, Nimble can swim, march, attack, power, defend. Can swim, march, attack, power. Yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot to... I forgot he orgasm is armed to the teeth. Man, his attack power kind of sucks compared to everybody else, though. Besides Janus. Janus. Kind of the worst. But, besides Janus. Guys, in those gun con emotes. Most of the good ending? Okay, another thing that I remember from reading something about the good ending. I think this is a cave of oblivion and fuck that place. Yep, not doing that place. Nope. Um, one thing I remember is there is a weird stat the seal value. Seal value in the bottom left there is currently 57. I don't I don't remember what the that number is supposed to be to get the good ending, but I remember it was important that it be a certain value before a certain chapter. I'm not sure if it's this chapter or not though. So I don't know. <laughs> the gun con. Yeah, the, the gun cons have more, like, use than 
just the arms, I suppose. Yeah, you can totally see what the seal value is. I think it's 30? And the value goes down the more you do dungeons, I think? I don't know. Why are they Japanese? Please. Why was I even born? Where's Daddy? Is there seven? Okay. How do I lower it then? Is it just do dungeons or? I can't. We'd be better off without you, little witch. When you keep dungeon treasure for yourself, okay. So if I want the best ending, I should only send one person at the in the chapter and do dungeons and keep the treasures to get best ending. That can be the strat. Because we're game shark and we might as well go for the best ending. <laughs> we might as well go for the A ending, or C ending, I don't know which one. Alright, Shiho. Her power is not enough. Your song makes yeah. men into warriors with no fear of death and brings our nation great honor. So please don't let the words of that foolish woman upset you. Weeping Lily Meadow. Okay, I've I've gone to Weeping Lily Meadow once already. Do I have to go back there? Hey Siri. Yeah, I think you want a weak seal, I guess. You want a lower number, it has to be below thirty. Okay, I've gone there once, so... Alright, we've done that then. Okay. So we have to actually have to do dungeons now. Great. Though I do have the... Um... Damn. I do have the press L2 to boss to get HP back, so we should be okay with just running to the bosses and then and then win. What does red look like? Looking at it. Brahms Castle. Yeah, it, it appears to be just blind.
By the way, if Wipeout happens to get picked in the current poll, then hopefully my Negcon comes in before we do that one, because I'd like to use a Negcon for that. Though who knows when that's going to come in. I think the turtle that's delivering it from Japan is still swimming across the ocean. Whoa! I could wait. Yeah, that, that's an option. I'd rather not. But I guess we have to. We have to then. Yeah, she got Sayonara. Jiho no. Beepo. All right, we got a blind singer now. Great. So what she got? I assume she's an archer. Shiho, mage. That's actually a lot of magic power. Also, why does Cashel still level nine? Okay, maybe that's not a lot of magic power. Never mind. She's got 900. Okay. Well, we'll just keep her there. Alright, later, bunny. Arc die in ruins. I think we've done this one already. But let's blaze through this dungeon. Story's a myth. Alright, so let's save before we do this. In case this goes horribly wrong. Yep, that's an emote from Overblood. Yep. I speedrun Overblood occasionally, so... That's why we got multiple Overblood emotes. Wait, is this Dungeon Album map? Yep, I am the world record holder in Overblood. That is true. I occasionally forget. Thank you for reminding me. Alright, so this does have a map. I already like that it appears this is a small dungeon. Ooh. So the L2 button should give me all my health back here. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Oh, are you fucking... Alright, well the L2 button does work to get my health back. So that's something. All right. Look at that. Boom. Haha. -ha. All right. Yeah, the juggles are are pretty strong here. Okay. We're in there now.
I think I might, um... Okay, I, I said I would... I wouldn't do live pitch videos on stream, but I think for Overblood, I'll do it live. Okay, I'm also not going to open any more chests in this dungeon, because... Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, I'm in Boron. No, I'm using cheats because I want to expedite this process and I don't like the dungeon crawling and parts of the leveling stuff in this. That's why. Yep, thank you for the 45 bucks, Somdors. feel better yeah I'm getting the um, I think I'm getting the flu so Ooh, who knows how if I'll be able to stream tomorrow or not but if we are going to be streaming tomorrow then um, well, uh, they were, rather annoying. we're probably going to record that pitch video for um, overblood I just said I wasn't going to open a chest, but then I open chests. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, from now on we're not going to open chests. Not going to do it anymore. <laughs> uh -oh. we may be in trouble. Why is Arngrim... Oh, it sets all their health to 999, okay. Who is this Todd dude? It is the Todd Howard, the greatest hero of video gaming. But that—that that is Todd Howard. That's um, he's the main um. Uh, the creative lead, let's say, for all the Bethesda stuff. Bethesda RPGs. Like Elder Scrolls, Fallout. Um, which is why it's called Todd Point and Todd Champ. Did you think you could defeat me? Alright. We're gonna get what's in this chest. And now, no more chests in this dungeon. Never again. No, Dr. Game Shark only had options for, um, uh, Hit the jump button. Didn't do anything. To um, side, my noble Dr. Game Shark only had like save everywhere. It had um, like stop game timer was one of them, uh, which we're not using. How is it still blocking? Oh, man. <laughs> yep. To my side, my normal. My loyal game shark. Alright. Finally got a combo going. Oh, and then bird.
and then bird. I keep forgetting to press the and then the bird button. Wow, I, I whiffed one at... <laughs> well... <laughs> All right. I think we did our damage with Dr. Game Shark. So we're good. We saved before we did the dungeon. <clears throat> this this is one of the things that can happen when you are using the Dr. Game Shark. This is nothing new. But yep, that that was a pretty dank meme there. We're still in there, though. <sighs> Occasionally, the doctor screws things up. Doctor Game Shark is only human, maybe. <laughs> Don't use performance-enhancing drugs, kids. So we should be right outside that dungeon. Maybe? Yep. Alright. So I already... I've learned my lesson in advance for this dungeon. Yo, don't open any chests. Already... Way ahead of the game. I could also okay. I have a strat that is just as good. Not even close. I totally forgot about this strat. Yeah, Dr. Game Shark took the um, the correspondence course in PlayStation game memory manipulation. To my side, my noble Ein Herriard. Stop the Ling Valkyrie. Game, please. Game. I just want to run away from this battle. It continues to be awesome that the game puts, like, the useless items at the very top of that list. Oh. So I'm still not sure how that, um... That, like, dust cloud mechanic is supposed to even work. Like, you break it, it does, like, the, the little fireworks effect. And then, um... It's supposed to be, like, a new platform that you can move on. But... 
I can never get to work consistently. Wait, is this just like a save room in the middle of nowhere? Alright. Alright, later, Blood Eye. Okay, it's just a save room in the middle of nowhere. Good. Well, it's like I have to open these. To my side, my noble Einherjar. Man. So this is what I don't like about this battle system, just enemies hit so hard. And most of the time, like, you don't hit for anything, unless you use items that who knows how you can get them. Can I just not pick up? Okay. All right, there we go. To my side, my noble Einherjar. What? This dark force. It's this dark force. All right, hopefully that opened the door. It didn't. Cuz of course. Maybe I actually do have to fight this thing. Yep. Dark yeah! forces. That will be in PS Explosion. Oh good, now there's three. No mercy. Dark Forces is awesome. I see this foe will not fall. Valkyrie, grant me power! Finishing strike! Round rip saber! Alright, a four hit attack. Great. Not bad, eh? Now you understand. Alright, later, Panda. Yeah, she's she's casting Firestorm. And her bird occasionally does bird things. Ah, yeah! 
such as fly through enemies and do more damage than Duga's sword does. Start. Well, I didn't realize he was out of faint there. Just, just gonna finish off slime thing here. Alright. By the power of bird. Oh wait, no. That's lame. She's off cooldown. Alright. Beat the final boss. GG. New HTML5. Alright, we got some. I think I probably have less in my XP orb now than I than I had with Doctor Game Shark. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Yeah, the, the interface is pretty okay with the new player. It isn't actually like full HTML5 though, but the, the interface is slightly better. Am I supposed to jump on enemy dude? Yep. Or not? Okay. To my side, my noble Ein Uh oh. Maybe I'm supposed to Okay, maybe this is where you're supposed to use that break the ice mechanic and it shoots you up. Shoots you up, but not high enough. Alright, well there's another door up there, so... It looks like I just need to get up there. Okay. So I guess I see where the boss is. We just need to get there now. hard. Oh god, platforming. Alright, not gonna be fooled by chest. Not this time. Out of the way. Oh man. Alright.
Really? That's all that's in here. Worth it. Shoot ice button. Okay. In there. Got a green light. That means I got a text, doesn't it? Okay, never mind. Still good. So we haven't gone. We have over there and we have this. Let's keep heading left, I guess. Back the way we came. Did I already go in here? I did. I was gonna slide underneath that enemy and look at all, make it look all swag, to but it didn't quite work out. What? This dark force? It's. <laughs> all right. So we already checked up there. down here either. Great. Yep, when Bobby wants a sashimi, there ain't no stopping him. Uh, I don't see how you're supposed to get to. Um. Hell did I miss? I clearly missed something important here. Maybe you are supposed to climb up on that enemy's head to get uh, to get over there. I didn't miss any um, passageways. Uh, we already know that opening traps, opening chests in this dungeon is just all traps all day.
Vagrant story is is map clusterfuck. Great. Well, bad maps are better than no maps at all. So it could be worse. Bad maps are still better than no maps. So it's got to be like jumping off of the enemy's head. Cuz I don't see any other any other path here really. So that's all fully explored. There's no pathways on the other side. On any of these layers. There's only this room back here, and I couldn't make it all the way up, unless there's some, like, extra item that I don't have. Uh... I probably have to use that movement mechanic that I was talking about earlier, but I just I couldn't get it to work. actually the story that I want. Okay, so in this this room right here, I need to get up there. Can I just make that jump? Oh. Yep, you can just make that jump. Ravers, all right. How rude. We have any overpowered items? The last time I had a boss battle, I just beat it in two turns with just items that blew him up. I don't think we have any items that will let us do that anymore. Yeah, plot, I summon you. It shall be engraved upon your soul. Divine assault. Nibelan Valesti. You only prolong your suffering. Valkyrie, grant me power. Finishing strike. I thought dude bro we bro on the X button would have his his special at this point. Oh, that's 
group, but... All right, sure. Um... Okay, I think we're still good here. Keep attacking. Alright, guts. We climb the aggro crag. We survive all that. Still gonna need to heal though. This fight would be much easier if I just had a game shark. <laughs> if I had a working game shark for this, this would be much easier. Um, the Game Shark was screwing up the game. When I got to one of those, like, finisher moves, Latina, it, um... Valkyrie. No! That guy's really bad for a second. Um, when I got to one of those finisher moves, the whole game just froze. So... We couldn't really continue like that. Um... Actually, I just now realized um, Arngrim's weapon might be broken, and I don't think that guy has um, guts. Let me make sure that he has a weapon. He does, okay. not get a piece of the aggro crag delivered to him from whatever what's his face from the Coliseum in Florida all right so I'm waiting for forehead girl to get her her MP back start doing some damage here again. spend this whole turn healing. Great. Yeah. Uh. Damn. I hit so hard.
Surely you realize... Wait, he's already dead. Oh no. Finishing strike. I thought that would like change targets. Round rip saber. Um, I might be able to transmute stuff. To make some OP items that way. I think we need Iron Grim thing. Oh, we're Viking. Alright. Let's have this guy do up Iron Grim. Yeah, so, um. There's that little hit meter there during the combos, and I think you want to use uh, the multi. the multi character ones, the multi hit ones, AoE ones, let's say, um, when they're most powerful. And you want to use those after that meter is as full as it can be, I guess. I don't know. Ask me anything about that group of pop. things. Because now he's not fainted. So that, that hits meter is at 100 now, and then I want to um, use Forehead Girl for the second attack now that it's full. You still breathe? I think, or it's it's the counter? Actually, I can't remember if it's just the green meter or if it's the, the hit counter that matters. I think it's just the green bar though. I'm not going to do a follow-up attack, because he's already dead. Looks like we're gonna beat this boss, you guys. Yeah. Oh. Right. I can never tell when a character gets out of um, faint. Ooh, scampering rat. I might be able to do a combo. 
soon as not. This is gonna be soon. Gets on Lucian. Prize. We're making a lot of noise. I bet all these these quotes are confusing the people that have never seen me do shed move before. Alright, Bird, are you gonna be the MVP here? Yep. Bird MVP. Alright, we did it, guys. So I need to, um, take the items from the chest. 60k, okay, yeah, that's, that's about how much I was, I capped out at with Dr. Game Shark and the XP Orb. Alright, Robo Bird to, yeah, obtain. Okay, so to lower our seal level, we need to take these. No, we're gonna keep it. What's our seal level at? 55. I think our seal level went up. Uh, we're getting some sweet items though, like Star Guard. The fifty-seven, okay. Look at all that event XP. Fifty-five. All right, sure. Fine, sure. Another chest. Right, I guess I guess yeah! I gotta do this or not? Yeah! Um. Alright, I'm supposed to do this over it. There we go. Mighty check. Okay, so I guess we beat the dungeon. Ha! Ha! Yeah! This frame rate though. Yeah! Frame rate's getting real good. This is a 2D game, why is the frame rate getting horrible? Yeah, I, I'm not sure if you're supposed to save Grill and Crystal or or what. But we beat the boss and got the loot. I guess I guess we're leaving. But I can't remember if you're if you always leave dungeons when you're done. We don't care about chests. Oh, hard mode? Alright. Well, we out of here then. Did I record the last couple saves? Probably not. Let's... It's kind of hard to tell. It doesn't look like it, so we'll, we'll do that. Thank you, Bash. Got my back on the saves.
I'm not sure if this is plot or just like extra stuff. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of okay with them locking some story content behind difficulty levels. Alright. Done with this dungeon forever. And all the monsters disappeared. Alright. Let's swag our way out of here. Alright. And with that, this is a fantastic stopping point. The stream has been nine hours long which is about how long I do my streams now. I used to complain about doing an 8 hour long Shenmue run, and now here I am just regularly doing 9 hour streams. This, this is how we do now. Ah, okay. More progress. Chapter 5. Um, so now that we're not doing XCOM, this is going to be our, our long game. And then, reminder that when we're done with this... That when we're done with this... Um, we are going to do a long 